Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 8th of November edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things that have popped up in the past week or so. Before we get started, we have a sponsor. We do. BarkBox is a monthly subscription box for your fluffy puppy. The boxes feature all natural treats, chews and innovative toys to match your dog's unique needs. All treats are grain free and never contain soy, wheat or corn. All meat is sourced in the USA and all treats are made in the USA and Canada. You simply let them know your dog's size and BarkBox will curate the box. As your dog grows, you can also have BarkBox grow with you. BarkBox will also cater to your doggo's special needs. If you're concerned about allergies or have an extra heavy chewer, BarkBox customer service is happy to help create a box to suit your requirements. If you're not a dog owner, but you have dog lovers in your life, you can also give the gift of BarkBox. Have it delivered straight to their door or send a gift card for the special wiggle butts that live in your hearts, but not your home. BarkBox offer free shipping to anywhere in the contiguous United States. Boxes are valued at $40 with plans starting at just $22 a month. For your free extra toy with BarkBox, visit BarkBox.com forward slash beauty news. When you subscribe to a six or 12 month plan, you'll receive an extra toy for a total of three toys in every box. That's an additional $9 value added to each box for free. Last week we had two sponsors and we put them right at the start, whereas this time we're going to break it up throughout the episode. Now, a couple of sponsors sound like a lot, but it's the end of the year and that's yeah. when sponsors come to us. So we're just making hay while the sun shines. Mm -hmm. So please bear with us. Probably in the new year there'll be crickets. Yeah. Um, but we want to know what you prefer. So do you prefer them all at the start so you can just listen to them all and be done with it? Or do you prefer them peppered throughout. So we're going to try that this week, but we do want your feedback because we want to approach this the best way possible. So let us know. Let us know. All right, let's get on to updates. So these are things that we've spoken about before and we're just updating you on. So we've seen the new Kilowatt Foil Highlighter from Fenty. This is called Ruby Riches and uh, it could be used as a blush or a highlighter depending on your skin tone. Um, but the reason why this is an update, even though it's releasing on the 8th of November, is because this is the renamed Geisha Chic product that was, I think, released um, or going to release in March. But mm. then they um, stopped the release because people didn't like the name. They thought it was culturally insensitive. So this is the rebranding of it. So it's described as um, a beautiful, creamy and blendable brick red shade. Um, made for your cheeks, eyes, and body. So, yeah, available everywhere you buy Fenty on the 8th of November. Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. So it launched, they broke the internet, it's sold out. You've all seen it. We don't need to harp on about it. Um, they will restock eventually. Mm -hmm. We don't have a date, but no doubt. Just follow the Jeffree Star yeah. Instagram account. Yeah, or they'll, they'll give you updates. Beauty news accounts, like you'll you'll get the updates, but they'll definitely restock it. I think the only thing that we saw that was new was a lip balm product. Mm -hmm. So, um, but otherwise makeup bags, palettes, lip products, mirrors. Everything. Stuff. Everything. So yeah, yeah the lip balm's called Diet Shane and it's just a clear lip balm. I think it's supposed to smell like root beer or Delicious. something like that. So we talked about uh, Kathleen Lights creating a new nail polish brand after Kale Polish was uh, essentially shut down. Yeah, and I, I want to mention though that it, a lot of people didn't actually remember that. When mm. I saw, when we posted a couple of things on Instagram, um, there were people in the comments going, wait, why, why did she have two nail polish brands now? So she actually had a business partner with KL Polish and she wasn't liking the direction I think they wanted to go in. So she pulled out. Yeah. So there's a lot of like rumors about what was going on, but essentially she pulled out of the partnership and um, they tried to sell off the rest of it. And it's, there's still an account and I think they're yeah. still trying to sell stuff, Yeah. Uh, but it's just old stock and it's no longer a thing. So she has now taken probably a very similar formula using probably the same lab and factory and everything, and she's created Lights Lacquer. Now, she has it's, – it's a little bit annoying. She's doing what you KL Polish used to do. You can tell that she ran the social media yes. for KL Polish or 
someone on her team did because she's doing the exact same thing with how she's releasing Which it. Which drives me bananas. And I, I'm just putting it out there right now. With her future releases, I refuse to talk about them week after week after week while it dribbles out. Correct. Correct. So originally what she did, and this is what she used to do with KL Polish, on her Instagram account, she would show black and white photo of the names yep. and then get people to guess the colours. Now we're starting to see dribbles of the colours. We've seen four of them so far. Um, so I think that there's six. So there's only a couple more to go. Yep. Hopefully she releases them both or shows them both in the next two next day so mm. I can have it all in this episode. If not, check out our Instagram for updates. So there's a shade called Jeffa or J-E-F-A and it's a nice sort of um, grey-toned sort of the color of my walls in my lounge room, a sort of like a bluey green gray. Mm -hmm. um, they call it a dusty green. And they also show that the brush is quite a large rounded brush. So yep. people did like that from her previous range. Um, there's HBIC, which is a metallic black. Mm -hmm. Then there's a shade called Girl Power, which is, um, it looks like it's got a red like gel based with a gold shimmer in it. Mm. Um, but all That's of, a really pretty shade. Yeah, it's a pretty shade. And she says she's been wearing this a lot on her channel. Okay, um, yeah. So it's one that, you know, she clearly really likes. Um, so this is launching on the 7th of November. Like we said, there are more shades coming. Um, please, please bring them have them on the screen so we don't have to ever talk about this collection <gasps> again. But there we go. Lisa Eldridge, uh, we see her new uh, True Velvet lipsticks. So these are the nude range. Uh, the image that you're seeing has the three reds that are mm -hmm. already in her range and the six new nude shades. I'm surprised she didn't chuck in the summer pinks in there as well to show the yeah. whole range. Maybe they um, sold out. Uh, was taking time to manufacture them. Maybe. Maybe she had the reds and the nudes but not the pinks. Maybe, maybe. So the shades are Velvet Fawn, which is calling it a delicate fawn colour. <laughs> Very. I love it when it's like, how do you describe a word? Or oh, you use the word the to word. describe the word. Yep. Yeah, exactly. This colour is called Bacon. It is bacon, bacon coloured. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> um, then we have Velvet Muse, which is a rosewood velvet decade is a cocoa brown with both warm and cool undertones. Okay, it's neutral. Thank you. <laughs> velvet Beauty is a light pink berry. Velvet Myth is a velvet, velvet, <laughs> vivid mulberry. And Velvet Midnight is a blackberry shade. So these are available for pre-order um, and they're retailing for 26 pounds each. That's a lot. Yeah, they are a luxury brand. They I are. would say that this is probably on par with uh, Pat McGrath lipsticks. Yeah. And from what I've heard, they're very good. So, um, and if she keeps making them, they're clearly very popular. Yeah. And at least she always sells out. Yeah, at least always. she's smashing, like she's getting one thing right. It's mm -hmm. much better to have, like, even you look at Jeffree Star, he started with three liquid lipstick shades and then expanded, expanded, expanded. Yeah. It's so much easier to focus on one item, yeah. get it right, expand on that and then start expanding into other areas, which I think is what she'll be doing. Um, what I do like about this range, it looks like there's sort of three true nude shades, light, medium, deep, and then there's more three pinky nudes, light, medium, deep. So depending on your tone of your skin and your undertones, mm -hmm. you should be able to find a nude that you really like. I think the Rosewood one is the one that she was referring to when she released the pinks. Um, and she said there was like a pinky nude that she really wanted to release, but she found it was too gritty okay, when they yeah. mass produced it. So I feel like that might, that looks very similar to what yeah. she was wearing in that video. That's so I feel like it. this is a, like, um, yeah, a flow on from that. And I do like that she's added a bunch of nudes because reds and pinks are fun, but mm. people often wear nudes. It's the easiest um, color to wear. And that's why Hayley's wearing a nude. Yep. Always. I don't go easy. <laughs> Fuck that shit. All right, Milk Makeup have partnered up with Sephora Collection to create their first ever brushes. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got five face brushes here. They are vegan, cruelty-free, and antibacterial. Yeah. Um, We're leaving that one. Yeah, 
So there's a foundation brush, a concealer brush, a cream sticks brush, a highlighter brush and a setting powder brush. Um, it's available now on Milk Makeup and Sephora online for 58 US dollars for the set. Yeah, I think that's not too that's bad. A good price. Um, I think these look a little bit, they remind me a lot of real techniques. Mm. I have seen a few people say that they've seen these in store and they feel very nice. Mm -hmm. Also, they say that Sephora collection, um, which is a very hit and miss sort of brand, um, they do brushes well. So oh, well, there you go. I haven't experienced them, but that's what some feedback is. So I think if you're a milk fan, you will probably be interested in these. I like glasses of milk. <laughs> All right, it's time for new stuff, but before we do that, let's welcome our next sponsor. This week's episode is sponsored by Function of Beauty. We all have different hair needs, so why should we be boxed in by the same old standardized formula when you can customize it for your specific needs? Function of Beauty has unrivaled customization. They individually formulate every bottle based on your hair type, hair goals, and preferences. You select your color and fragrance or can opt for dye-free and fragrance-free. They'll even print your name on the bottle. Function of Beauty uses safe natural ingredients. They never use sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, or any other harmful ingredients and are vegan and cruelty-free. We ordered our bottles using the survey. It's really quick and easy to use. It allows you to really customize your shampoo and conditioner. So after ordering our bottles, we received them pretty promptly and I got a nourishing set. Oh my gosh, smells amazing. But the good thing about it, nourishes my hair without weighing it down too much. And I really love the additional pack you can order with the shampoo that's, and conditioner. That's with the great. little travel squeezy tubes that you can clean out and reuse. They are so handy. Surprisingly, probably like hidden the gem. Yeah. Hidden gem. Yeah. They also do hair masks now too. Function of Beauty have been really kind to offer 20% off your first order. To redeem, head to functionofbeauty.com forward slash beauty and take the hair profile quiz. They also ship internationally. Link in description box. Thanks, Function of Beauty. All right, new stuff time. Let's get on to BH Cosmetics. So this is their Fairy Lights Holiday Collection mm -hmm. um, and it contains the Fairy Lights Shadow, US $20.00. I think this is an eyeshadow palette. Yeah, it is, 20 yep. color palette. Mm -hmm. um, and it is very cool tone neutral, lots of pinks, mm. and then some browns and some blues. Correct. It is, a, I don't, this doesn't really match a fairy lights holiday sort of thing nah, to me, I but BH I Cosmetics it. I, doesn't make much sense to me, so you do you. There's the Fairy Lights Shimmer Body Powder, 21 US dollars. Is it lickable? I hope it's lickable. Um, so this does look like a rose gold powder. Mm -hmm. So it also comes with a mini brush, it's like a buffer brush. Yeah, and a bag. And a bag. So The bag is cute. Yeah, but it's a twinkling rosé bronze hue that you can mm -hmm. put on your face and body. It does not say it's lickable. Don't lick it, guys. Don't lick it. <laughs> Don't lick it. Don't eat your makeup, it's true. even if they say you can. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, just be sensible. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's also the Fairy Lights brush set. This is US $26. It's 11 piece brush set. Um, so it can uh, features lush white synthetic bristles. It has silver rose ferrules and baby pink handles. I don't think silver rose is a thing. Um, that looks like gold to me. It does. It looks or like the a very. Looks like a warm gold. Yeah. Pale warm gold. When you look at the other, like the actual little logo on the brush tin, yeah, that looks rose gold. Yeah. But it looks like gold. I don't know. Golden pink. Anyway, yeah. rose silver. There we go. So that is all available now at BH Cosmetics. From Beauty Blender, we see a holiday item. This is the Crown Jewels Blender Essential Set. So this is retailing for 65 US dollars. It contains four beauty blenders in limited edition shades of ruby emerald blue topaz and the signature original pink then there are all also four limited edition gemstone versions of the beauty blender cleanser solid so this is a hundred and twelve dollar value so it's actually a pretty good pack it's pretty good um it's a little bit gimmicky but it it's good value and it's mm. kind of cute it comes in like a diamond shaped box yeah i think if you're one of those people who only buys beauty blender there they exist they yep. do um you're gonna love this that's good value that'll get you through a year of beauty blendering easy if you're like me and you push it oh yeah i'll push it but it's a cool gift it yeah, looks like a the nice box looks sick nice box i like it from by terry we have seen their holiday collection 
So this consists of the Glow Booster CC Serum, the CC Illuminating Powder. Now I believe they do these both every year. Yeah. Then we have the Youth Glow Elixir, the Smoky Gold Eyeshadow Palette. So that is a, a little quad yeah. palette. We also have the Balm de Rose Travel Size. That's an ornament. We've got the Beauty Cracker, which goes under the tree. We have the Brightening CC Serum set in two shades. So it contains number one and number four. There is the Balm de Rose set, the Balm de Rose Ritual, the Hero Premium set, and the best of set. So most sets just contain um, little minis of skincare items in the same range, um, but the Heroes Premium set, which is the big whopper, mm. 349 euros, mm. this contains a variety of skincare and what looks like full-size makeup yeah. and tools. So stuff. It, is, it is a big one. That's the one that the, the real by Terry lovers will be picking up. True. From Charlotte Tilbury, we see a new eyeshadow palette. So this is called Charlotte Darling. That, I actually love that name. That <laughs> works because if you've heard Charlotte Tilbury talk, she yep. calls everyone darling. Darling, she does. So it, 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 I don't hate it. It sounds a bit cringe when you read it out, but it, it matches it the brand sense. really well. We yep. actually have a quote here. It says, darlings, this is my signature instant eye palette look inspired by the magical colours of my home in Ibiza. Oh, I wish I had home in Ibiza. Mm. Damn, Charlotte, darlings. Charlotte. I need to call people darlings and darling. then maybe it'll just come to me. I know, I know, right? So this is launching on November 7th on the Charlotte Tilbury makeup website. It's gonna be 54 euros. I actually think this is really beautiful. I think it's really beautiful too. And I like that they're doing something a little bit different from a mm. large palette or a quad. Because I do think even though you can get daily makeup with a quad, generally their quads are like all shimmer, which yes. makes it hard. Yep. Whereas having six shades, you can get a couple of different looks mm. in it. Is it still really pink toned and nude it and is. bland? Yeah. Absolutely. But once again, that's Charlotte that Tilbury. That is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and I think this is a good, probably introductory palette. I haven't delved into Charlotte Tilbury. No. Except I've... for that lip gloss thing that we yeah, have yeah yeah i lip gloss they released a little quad palette couple maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago and i was still thinking about it i'm still thinking about it but i also like this one and the reason i like this three mattes three shimmers yeah the shimmers are gradi gradiating in their shade as are the mattes there's no like white mattes yeah I hate thank that. god there's no pop of random blue yes thank you jesus mm -hmm. um but the two deeper mattes one is a really cool like cool tone gray brown mm -hmm. and the other one is like a muted brick color brick terracotta ish color yeah i don't know i like it I've never tried her eyeshadows, but I, I'm feeling like it's stirring within. Yeah. Look, I think that's fair because yeah. I've wanted to try their quality. Mm. And um, the problem is, though, that I, and I, I find this with a lot of brands that we can only access online. Yeah. So recently um, I tried some Jouer things because they came to Mecca in Australia. But um, Jouer has always been a product that you can only buy online in Australia uh, still is. It's only mm. Mecca online, unfortunately. Hopefully it comes into stores soon. Hopefully. But um, I find that when there's bland makeup, it's hard to want to buy it without touching it I first. Agree. Because if you're going to be buying more bland makeup, you want to know it's something that's really nice quality Correct. and that you will use. Because we've all, like, I've got these shades. Yeah, time and time again. Yeah. But I do think this is a nice, uh, like I said, a midpoint between the quad and the large palette. Um, I think a lot of people are familiar with this design from things like um, Urban Decay. Mm. So I think it's just like a level up. Bland it out, but level up. Yeah. All right, from Cleona Cosmetics, we have a new, um, what do they call it? Uh, bundle. Bundle, that's it. That's the thing. So it's the Woodlands bundle and it consists of 14 shadows, six mattes and eight, eight shimmers slash metallics. I feel like they're catering to the Southern Hemisphere where mm. it's getting warm because this is... This is fun and summary to me. So this bundle brings back the woodland mattes that they had available a few years ago with an updated formula and some color tweaks. Mm -hmm. The other shadows are completely brand new to their lineup. So if you um, haven't bought that bundle a few years ago, this is 
pretty much fairly new. It's a nice sort of sprinkling of shimmers um, and mattes. It's got a lot of yellows in there, some sort of warm browns, um, some mauvey colors, purpley colors, and some greens. So it is a colorful set, but um, that's what they do best. So this set has already launched and they have a limited amount um, available, but they will be restocking. So the bundle of 14 is 74 Canadian dollars, which is around 56 US dollars, or you can buy them individually. Um, and they range from six to eight Canadian dollars or 450 to six US dollars. And that's depending on the finish. So like the shimmery ones, the pigment cost more, so that makes sense. Um, if you were to buy all the 14 individually, uh, it's 91.50 Canadian dollars or 69.60 US dollars. So you do get a good saving buying it in a bundle. Excellent. Um, but there we go. That's that's that. ColourPop. Yes. Right. We Let's... didn't have them last week. I know. Well done, ColourPop. Now we've got a couple. We applaud you. Right. So we have the pretty fair. Blah. Pretty Fresh Hydrating Concealer. This will be out by the time you're watching this. It's available in 30 shades. They're calling it a creamy plus cushion feel. Fuck if I know what that yeah. means. It's oil free, full coverage and infused with coconut water and hyaluronic acid. And they say it's also dermatologist tested. I would hope so. Um, but essentially this is just an extension to the sort of BB creams mm. they brought out uh, maybe last month. Full so coverage concealer for your not full coverage base. <laughs> it's interesting isn't it? But yeah so this is just adding to the pretty fresh range because um, they also had a primer and a spray and mm. some sponges in that so this is just adding to it. Uh, we've also seen a new collection that as we're talking we're sort of just getting more information so um, if we're a little bit uh, limited with the information a Apologies, but it is what it is. So this is actually a collaboration with Pony. Now, Pony, who's uh, on Instagram is Pony's Makeup, mm -hmm. um, d recently launched a collaboration with MAC. Yes. And I think earlier this year did one with NYX. Yes, so it's, she has her own brand, Pony Effect. Yeah, Pony Effect is, is her own offshoot from another brand. Yes. I think it's like a... Yeah. yeah, it's like um, a sister brand to another brand. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna hate myself for not being able to remember it. But it's, yeah, there is. She's yeah. got her own brand. Yeah. So she's everywhere at the moment. So it seems like Pony has created a brand called Bitty. Now we, for the life of us, can't really figure out what it is. Mm. Um, Bitty did do a collaboration with NYX, which will have a photo of the screen of those products. Um, but otherwise, there's a website that's advertising sponges coming soon, mm. but it's very confusing. So Bitty is what collaborated with ColourPop, which is why it says Bitty X ColourPop, not Pony X ColourPop. Confusing. She's got a lot of fingers in a lot of pies and she's making a fuck ton of money. So go yeah. do a good thing. Um, anyway, this collection contains... There's a palette which is 15 US dollars. It contains nine shades um, and this is quite a pretty layout like yeah. I think a lot of people are saying this is a little bit different it's a little bit um sort of nude but there's neutral and cool tone I really is, like this palette. yeah really pretty what people aren't liking is the middle row, row of non eye safe glitters so if you don't like using those you're going to hate this because there's three out of uh nine there's one what looks like super shock shadow um and the rest are mattes there's five mattes to four glitters and shimmers which is a nice balance I really love that there's mauves in there. I love that there's cool toned browns in there. So this is actually a little bit different from what we've seen from ColourPop. They usually go a lot of oranges and a lot of peaches and a lot of pinks. Mm. This is slightly different, which I do quite like. Along with that, we've got um, the Bitty Pop Super Shock Foursome. This is 20 US dollars, contains four shades of Super Shock shadows. And these are new shades, I believe. There's Super Shock Cheeks. These are $9 each and there's five shades. This one's interesting because some of them have what looks like moon designs mm. pressed into them and some of them don't. Yeah. So the ones that don't seem to be the marbled texture ones... Uh, the ones that do seem to be just like the flat ones. There's three ultra blotted lip shades, which look new. They're $8 each. Um, and one thing I find interesting is when she did the collaboration with MAC, she actually created a new liquid lipstick that is like a blotted matte. Yeah. So clearly this is something that she really likes. So this makes sense. You can buy that in a bundle as well for $20. You can get the full collection for $90 US or the PR collection for $97. So that is everything but like in a box. Etude House. We have seen their holiday collection. Uh, this is called Rudolph Coming to Town. 
So the eyeshadow palettes are the Rudolph Play Color Eyeshadow Mini. They come in reindeer and sled. The packaging is really damn cute. It is. I think that's the best part mm -hmm. of this is the fluffy reindeer oh my packaging. God. Uh, that's a really cute Christmas idea. And I really, I actually, like, even though brands don't have to go so literal with Christmas releases, I sort of like it when they do. Like, Me it's too. like, oh, it's kind of fun. I Especially like from a chewed house, which do have fun packaging. It's festive um, yeah. once a year. I just yeah. wish I liked the eyeshadow quality. That's fair. Yeah. Then we have the Rudolph Better Lip Talk. So this comes in five shades. There is Secret Gift, Orange Black Tea, Strongberry, Santa Mocha, and Rudolph Dream. Then we have the Rudolph Rush Palm Carl Fix Mascara. Not sure what that is. <laughs> it's mascara. It comes in two shades. There's a brown and a black. But and the, I, the brown looks really burgundy in the it swatch. It does, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure who Carl is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know Carl. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know Carl. Then we have the Hand Bouquet Hand Cream Set. This consists of, I think it was two hand creams? Yeah. yeah. yeah two hand creams. There is also a scented candle. I'm not sure what it smells like but there is um, an eyeshadow brush set as well. And it's all available on the Etude House Japan website. Yeah, and the candle's very cute. It's brown Beautiful. frosted tin with little um, reindeer horns, eyes, and a shiny nose. So it's Adorable. very, very cute. Yeah. All right, from Fourth Ray Beauty, they have added some new products to their line. This is already launched when you're watching this. Um, and it's new additions to the Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Collection. So the new products are the Soak It Up Hydrating Hyaluronic Mask, 16 US dollars, Waterfall Gentle Tonic, uh, 14 US dollars, Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum, 15 US dollars, and it is all launched. So nice blue packaging, nice refreshing hydrating products for US sort of winter, which is good move. Excellent. From Give Me Glow Cosmetics, they are launching a Thanksgiving collection called Fall Feast. So this consists of four eyeshadow duos. They're going to be 10 US dollars each. The shade options are Pumpkin Pie and Whipped Cream, which is a fairly bright orange and like a silvery white shade. Yeah, so they've in all all of the duos they have one matte and one, one sort of shimmer. shimmer or sparkle. So the the orange is the matte and then it looks yeah, it's like a white iridescent sort of shimmer. Then we have cranberry and stuffing. So this is a berry red and a gold. We've got gravy and glaze turkey, which is a warm matte brown and then a really really like sparkly warm gold shade i want that one that that's one looks pretty cool. cool then there is casserole and spiked cider so this is a mint green and what looks to be an awesome silvery taupe yeah really really foiled yeah mm, pretty so these are launching on the 8th of november 12 p.m cst so Soon. Soon. Very soon. Very soon. Hours away. Mm -hmm. From Glossier, we have a new product. This is the Pro Tip. It is a brush point liquid eyeliner that takes the stress out of liquid eyeliner. So it's got a super fine, flexible brush tip that hugs the lash line without tugging or skipping. Mm -hmm. Great. It's the inkiest black pigment that glides on smoothly and doesn't smudge. Fantastic. I hope it doesn't bleed as well. I don't mm. like liquid liners because they always bleed on me. Like, 90% of the time. I can't handle it. Um, they've got staying power for up to 12 hours and it easily wipes off with milky oil. Um, so oil cleansing cleanser. oil product. So this is now available for 16 US dollars. Uh, I actually think this looks really nice. Mm. Um, I love the really, really, really pointed brush yeah. tip applicator. I, if you're going to do a liquid liner, that's how you have to do it. Um, I think this is a nice move. It's a yeah. basic product, but when it's done well, it's it's always welcome. I adore a brush tip yeah. applicator. Um, so yeah, I'm... I love them too. And they're easier to clean. If Glossier ever... Yes, you're completely right. But if Glossier ever manages to show up in Australia, which they're expanding so fucking slowly, I'll probably... Yeah. 
be wrinkly and too old to use this shit by the time it gets here. I'm not going to say that I'm already <laughs> wrinkly and too old to use uh, this shit. But, but this is probably something that I would actually spend money on from Glossier. Um, Innisfree, we have a little collection here. It is uh, the Recycled Coffee Collection. So all products are made with recycled coffee grounds. Consists of four products. There's a purifying body scrub, a jelly mask, a body wash and a lip mask. Yeah, I think that all brands that have coffee scrubs, if they're not using recycled cof coffee in it, um, they're doing something wrong. Yeah. Because even... They must be, though, because it would cost them a yeah. fortune. But, and and also, you don't need it. You don't need no. coffee seeping out no. of the, no. the coffee grounds. Exactly. And, but I feel like this is them like using it in marketing, whereas mm. most brands do use recycled coffee grounds. Yep. Um, yeah, all those brands that have the bags of the coffee scrubs, they get them from like cafes. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a more affordable way of doing it, and you, you like you said, don't need the leaching out of the coffee no. to get the scrub. So doesn't need to be fresh ground coffee beans in a coffee scrub. Could you imagine how much that would friggin' cost? Yeah, completely unnecessary. True waste. All right, Kat Von D has released a new current crush. So to remind people if they don't know what a current crush is. Um, Kat Von D decided that they want to release like individual items that they really like rather than having to release collections that are on trend. It's just like a literal, I think the last one was that gel, that pot mm, cream, that gold, gold yeah. shimmery cream product. Yeah. They just brought out one. It looked it, like a jelly much eyeshadow. It did look, it looked like a more intense jelly much eyeshadow, but it looked like a jelly much eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. So they sort of do these when they've got something that they want to put out that they think is fun, but they don't want to have to add it to a full collection. And I think these are often limited edition. Um, but this is the limited edition, there we go, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Swoon, which is a crush-worthy metallic red. Something I find very interesting about releasing this mm. is that I saw that they are discontinuing their um, metallic liquid lipsticks. You know the ones they brought out that were really, really sparkly? Mm -hmm. They went from like, I think they were like 20 something dollars down to $5 and they're discontinuing them. So it's interesting that they're there. <laughs> like those flopped. Mm. Let's bring this out. But it is a different, like this is the, in the Everlasting Liquid li Lipstick yeah. um, line, which yeah. is a lot more popular and I think a lot of people trust it a lot more. Whereas those ones had their own range and they, mm. they're they being phased out. Look, let's be real. Metallic liquid lipsticks are not the most beloved of the lip products globally. No. And I imagine they've lost a few customers Yes. So discontinuing that line is probably the smartest place to start. Yeah, they did have some beautiful colours in they it did. though. They did, yeah, they and did. And I do have to say about this particular one, um, if you're going to wear a metallic colour, reds, reds are often really flattering yeah. and this is the season for metallic Absolutely. reds. So yeah. uh, it's not the worst idea, but it's just interesting. Mm. It's an interesting choice. All right, Kiko. So we've got two new collections. One is holiday and one is not holiday. So why I'd release two collections at once? You tell me, you tell me. I can't, I'm sorry. So Party All Night is their non-holiday collection. Um, it's designed to be long wearing products that will stand the test of time, AKA partying all night. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of these products Kiko do big collections. These take forever, but yeah. there are like eye crayons, mascaras, liners, brow products. Uh, we have a primer, lip products, foundation stick, foundation and concealer. That's interesting. Uh, sheet masks, highlighters, all sorts of things. So yeah. it's a fairly big collection. And the packaging looks very pink purple. Um, it's got that sort of, looks like glow mesh type mm design yes. um the other like the tubes have sparkly purple with um holographic text it looks very shiny mm. um and the eye products look very cool toned yeah so glossy lips bit of shine glittery eyes it's it's disco ish it is their holiday collection is called magical holiday this consists of a 12 pan palette there are some single eyeshadows highlighting drops face powders, 
um, mascaras, pencils, lip products. They do have a glittery lipstick. Oh, with a design with on it. With a as design well. on it. Uh, there's Check also, out this eyeshadow. I know, it's awesome, isn't it? Mm. Um, there's also like vinyl lip lacquers, uh, mini eye quads, face quads, stuff like that. So They've got gold face masks. Foot masks yeah, and hand right. masks. Yep, and nail polishes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so everything is here is themed golden red, which is Correct. very festive. Yeah. Um, I do want to say, and I think this has been a criticism of um, Kiko for the past couple of years, a lot of their holiday products are just repackaged from yep, past re years. KKW fragrance. Okay, so this is the Diamonds Collection by... <laughs> yeah. Courtney, Kim and Chloe. Courtney, X Kim, X Chloe. That looks ridiculous yes yeah. i'm not gonna debate that no. no so these are 30 ml fragrances encased in luxurious diamond bottles for 40 dollars each that is not true they're, they are faceted bottles that's true glass bottles yes um so they're launching on the 8th of november at 12 p.m pacific standard time so once again later today so we do have some scent descriptions but they do vary from image to image on Instagram. So mm. we're going to probably read out two of each, which sounds weird. Um, the yellow one is with Courtney. So it's clearly a scent that Courtney has created. Um, so it's saying that it's a glistening glow of golden currant berries, whipped vanilla and white patchouli. Also jasmine, iris and magnolia. Yeah, is what they say in another image. Um, the diamond one, which is the white one, is with Kim. Um, and that has notes of tropical floral leaves, heavenly white musk and orange flower, along with sugar-coated ginger, luminal, luminous ylang-ylang and heavenly white musk. I'm very yeah. confused. Chloe, which is the pink one. Uh, oh, has, can I, sorry, can oh, yeah, I interrupt? Go. There's yeah. another third description of the okay, Kim one. Cool. Uh, orange flower and coconut milk cream. Uh, there's also soft musk in the yellow one with Courtney. They can't make up their mind. No, can they? they've got different descriptions on each image. <sighs> it's very confusing. So the pink one, which, which is, with is Chloe, Chloe's. This has bergamot, violet accord, lilac blossom, also jasmine, and sapphire tuberose. Yeah, pink sapphire tuberose. I, I want just a nice breakdown of all top you know, yeah. middle and base notes, because this is very confusing. Yeah. But if you but do... But then you think, oh, that sounds nice, and you smell it, and you're like, um, yeah. why does it smell like feet? <laughs> um, anyway, so, the, yeah, those are going to be coming out if you're interested, um, and I am just waiting for the Kendall fragrance, because the last one was oh, with Yeah, Kylie. where is she? Where's Kendall? There's going to be another one coming out. I thought she was smashing them all out in this one. I forgot Clearly about not. Kendall. She's doing the Kardashians here, and she's doing individual Jenna ones. Maybe. Maybe. Speaking about Jenna, um, Kylie, uh, she has said that she's uh, currently taking the promo photos for her holiday collection. And here's a black and white image of the eyeshadow palette. It looks boring, but it's a black and white image, so mm. we can't judge anything. Um, but it made me realize she's leaving the holiday collection very late. Wow. Yeah. Like, I was surprised. <laughs> She used to go hard with these collections. I think she's going to still go hard. Yeah, I think she'll go hard. It's just not, it feels like her heart's not in it. It's like, here's another palette. Just got to make my money. Yeah. All right. LA Girl Cosmetics have launched a new eyeshadow palette. It's mm. called Born Exclusive. So it's a 35 color eyeshadow palette. Um, it's from rich pigments, ultra vibrant shimmers to bl super blendable matte colors. Um, and it's available now for 20 US dollars at LA Girl Cosmetics and select CVS and uh, yeah, CVS pharmacies. So this is just a large palette. I actually quite like this uh, color story. Um, it's got some yellows, it's got some peaches, some nudes, um, some green teals, some purples. I think it's um, a big palette, which is kind of boring, but at the same time, they've done it a little bit differently, which I quite like. So once again, this looks summery to me. Yeah. Um, but it's not just your, you know, browns with the pop of orange. It, it is a slightly different colour story. It looks a little bit, reminds me a little bit of the um, So Jaded palette oh, from yep. Colourpop. Yep. Those sort of tones. Yeah, but I agree with that. There we go. 
From Laura Lee, Los Angeles, we have seen a sneak peek of three new liquid lipstick shades that are launching very, very soon. And we have also seen the color reveal of one of them. It's called Mai Tai. Um, and it looks to be like a peachy orange shade. Yeah, so they are going to be staggering out the reveals this week because uh, it is launching later this week. So by the time you're watching this, they're already out. If we don't have them all on the screen, just check our Instagram. It is what it is. Mm. All right, Linda Hallberg have released a new pack of their liners. So they're crayon liners that are like multi-purpose products. Mm. So this is the Fusion Kit, and it's a mix of Mood, aka matte, and Flash, which are metallic slash glittery crayons. Now, this is an interesting one because this is only available in the, the pack. So it's a five pack and you can't buy them separately. It's also limited edition. Um, and this is a way for them to test out a new formula. So they're mm. looking at reformulating the crayons and they want to see people's feedback before they implement that right. um, sort of reformulation. So the shades we have are CAF, which is a metallic with um, a cool brown purple gray, which mm -hmm. sounds really interesting. There's Guilty, which is a matte. It's a versatile deep teal. Vega is an olive green. This is a shimmer. Uh, it's got gold glitter. Altair is a dirty orange with a stunning metallic finish. And the last one is Delighted, which is a semi-transparent, deep, hot pink matte mm -hmm. for the lips. All the other ones are multi-purpose. It's just the pigment used in the lip one. Legally, they can't put it down as eye, eye safe. safe. Yep. So if you do want to use it all over your face and eyes, you can but it may stain and it's at your own risk. But these are designed to be multi-purpose products. So this is available now. It's um, 52 euro, $50 or 47 pounds at Linda Hallberg Cosmetics, Kix and Beauty Bay. Mm -hmm. Makeup Revolution has launched a collaboration with Patricia Bright. So this is a six piece capsule collection um, with Patricia Bright. Uh, it consists of the Rich in Life palette. So I'm pretty sure this is the palette that has more nude shades in it, but there are still pops of color, yellow, green, blue, orange, red, all that jazz, but lots of nudes to make it wearable. Yeah, it sort of looks like there's uh, three rows of predominantly nudes mm. and then one row um, of color. color. Yeah. So it is, yeah, predominant, like you said, fucking annoying swatching half the palette. Go they've, get fucked. They've got enough arms there. Just swatch the whole damn swatch palette. Swatch the whole goddamn palette. I know. It's very, very frustrating. I know. Or have, you know, yeah, two photos so you can see them all. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're, they're, it's a nice balance with nude and colour. This is more for the people that mainly wear nudes but occasionally want a pop of colour. Yeah. Then there's a rich in colour palette. This is a colour palette. Yeah. Uh, looks like there's even some pressed glitters in there. So it looks you... like there's like three nude shades yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, there's not many at all. She's living up to her name, Patricia Bright. Yes. Uh, then we have the face palettes. These come in for shade options. There's Moonlight Glow, Summer Sunrise, You Are Gold, and Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah, and they all contain a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. Yeah. And they're all for different like skin, skin tones, tones, which yeah. is nice. So that is available now on Revolution Beauty, uh, Superdrug, Ultra Beauty, and coming soon to Beauty Bay and ASOS. Milani Cosmetics have launched a 10-piece luxe brush set for the holiday season. Um, so it contains 10 brushes. And the main thing is that the handles uh, have like encapsulated glitter, gold glitter. They're very sparkle luckily. They are. Uh, they remind me a bit of the It Cosmetics sparkly yes, ones yeah. where they have that sort of resin yeah. clear handle. I love with, them. They're, they're cool. cool. They're cool. The quality of those brushes are really nice too. Yeah. This also comes with a faux leather, leather brush roll um, and it contains a whole bunch of brushes. Foundation, blush, winged fan, highlighter, large all over powder, double ended brow, smudger, blender, all over shadow, concealer and the faux leather. Why can't I say that? Faux leather brush roll available now at Milani Cosmetics for $69.99. All right, last minute holiday update to Milani. So we saw the brush pack that's available now. There's also additional things launching on the 8th of November at milanicosmetics.com. So there is a 24 karat gold collection. 
It includes a gloss, an eyeshadow duo, and a metallic shimmer lipstick. These are all in gold shades, if you enjoy gold lips. Yay, Up gold. to you. Uh, there's also the Gilded Gold Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like a muted version of Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Mm-hmm. Um, but this looks like it's a 15-pan eyeshadow palette. Lots of nudes, a couple of golds, a couple of sort of greeny colours. And we've also got the Ultimate Baked Blush Vault. So we're just seeing a photo here. We're not 100% sure, but it looks like it at least contains six baked blushes. Um, with that also, that gold collection, that 24 karat gold collection, it comes in like a Christmas cracker. So it is kind of cute. Cute. Morphe have released their first part of their holiday collection, which is a palette. It's in the mm-hmm. same design as the... Um, James Charles palette. They also had a couple of palettes prior to that with the same format. So it's got the two rows of normal pans, one row of large pans, two rows of smaller pans. So it's a 39 pan palette. Mm -hmm. This is 39i. So it's the hit the lights. Yeah, hit the lights palette. Now, what makes this one a bit different is they've actually collaborated with four makeup artists or like Instagram makeup artists. So we can see a breakdown on this photo. So they designed eight pan little sections and they've put them all together. Mm -hmm. So one creator created the top one, which is bronzes and reds. The one next to it, which is more of your traditional colors. It's got some cool tones, some warm tones. It's got your basic, you know, transition browns and the cream and the black. Down the bottom, we've got two more eight pan. One, they both to me looks like Urban Decay palettes. Mm. One looks like the After Dark palette that's got the sort of metallic reds. It's got that what looks like blue brown sort mm-hmm. of pressed one. Yeah. Um, some sort of champagnes, maybe a mustard or a gold. And then there's almost like a neon palette, predominantly mattes with a black. Uh, and then the middle row are all like basic shimmers, whether yeah. they're highlighters or sort of that sort of look they all like various highlighters Mm. um so this is a different concept for morphe um and when you do look at it all together you like this sort of looks like mishmash of a lot of their different palettes you've got like the 35 (laughs) o's you've got the basic browns you've got the purple palette you've got the brights palette so it does look like a mishmash of different palettes but when you look at why it kind of makes sense. sense yeah and i think it's sort of a nice way to give some love to creators or makeup artists that um, they don't do big collections with. There are some more items in this collection. There's a Kiss List six piece lip collection, 25 ways to glam brush and sponge collection, the Glance Party 12 piece eye brush collection plus bag, and the Pump Up the Glam eight piece brush collection plus bag, along with the I Need It brush collection, and a continuous setting mist. Yeah, so right now we haven't seen images of those, but they've listed those as things that are coming as well in the holiday collection. And it's all launching the 7th of November at Morphe. So by the time you're watching this, it's up, Mm. Um, but we right now don't have images of everything. They called it the 39L palette. I wonder why. Oh, because... Oh, Oh, it is L. I said I before. But But it should be I. That's bigger... but influencers. I'll, true. But I think they're doing L for lights. But I was looking at the the box and the box makes it look like an I, but it's an L. Fair. 39 okay. L palette hit the lights. Pat McGrath. All right. So we've seen a new Mothership palette. Uh, they were saying it's Mother Six, Mothership 6, but that's not correct because Mothership 6 was the one that just came that out. That just came out. So this has to be Mothership 7. Um, it's called Divine Rose. Uh, It first launched on Selfridges, but they have said it's coming to the Pat McGrath website later in November. So it is a 10 pan palette. Um, It's in that, you know, mothership packaging, very heavy, very expensive, um, and it's quite nude. There is definitely a duochrome in there in the shade uh, VR Rose Venus. There also looks like another duochrome that looks white and it, and it shifts pink. Yeah, iridescent um, Yeah, pink. and then there's a sparkly sort of topper shade, a gold shimmer, rosy shades, mauvey shades, brown champagne. So this to me, um, a lot of people are a little bit uh, – some people are like, this is great, super wearable. 
Um, you know, Definitely this is, wearable. Yeah, I agree with that. Super, super wearable for most people. A lot of people don't like that term. I think it makes sense because... You know, you have your makeup enthusiasts that wear, can wear a lot of color and very confident with color, but um, wearable more in, like means that the masses can yeah. can use it. In my opinion, you're not going to freak anyone out if you rock up to work in this. No, this is someone, definitely a work palette. This is yeah, a bridal palette. Someone might like take an extra long look at you if you rock up to work wearing a bright blue eyeshadow and a lot of workplaces won't allow won't you to do that it. so you know this is sort of yeah the sort of conventional palette yeah. i see this as being yeah pat mcgrath doing a bridal palette mm. um some people will love this and go okay i'm actually wanting to try the formula because these are things i will wear on a daily basis um and other people saying this is boring and i can dupe it with other shit so it's it's about your preferences really but it's another one coming i do feel like this is probably the safest one that she's released so far mm. um i also think this is interesting because she just released one like last month i know so God. she's really pumping out like l when she originally released these big mothership palettes they were quite spaced apart yeah but now she's just like bam I know. how many palettes has she released this holiday season two <laughs> big ones Two of those ones that mini, mini were ones. long that had the mini pans. Yeah. So that's four so far. And, and then the three, three quads. mini quads. Seven palettes in how many months? Three months? Yeah, three months max. She's doing These brands a... are fucking out of control. Yeah. I know. They need to, nah, to pull it you back. You need to fucking sort your shit out. I agree. All right. Paul and Joe, brands Ooh. that we can't really easily access, but I always like to talk about them because their packaging is, is so damn cute. Yeah. Um, so we've got a hydrating hand cream in an animal lover's patterned tin. Stop so it. they usually do cat themed things. This time they've got a dog, a horse, a chicken, a swan and a cat. And a cat. So very cute. Um, so this is just a moisturizing hand cream in a tin, 40 grams. Um, and it's got a gentle wood herbal floral scent. scent. Cool. Um, available already. Uh, so check your local um, we, stockist. Which we don't have one in Australia, but no. if you do have access, check them. Yeah. Because it's available. That's a brand I would love to see pop up in Mecca with just a tiny little. Tiny a little, little stand. Oh, just with a few cute things. Yeah, it's littles, very cute. The littles. From a brand called Rodal Beauty, we have a new palette. This is the Mrs. Rodal palette. So it's an all-in-one limited edition palette featuring a bespoke collection of autumnal shades handpicked by our found founder. All right, so it looks like they've actually combined their best-selling powders with five limited edition hues. So this is a bit confusing because they don't list the ones that are new. Now, most of these are actually face products with one eyeshadow thrown in. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is a multi-purpose palette. They don't, they're not super clear, um, but I guess you can use this on eyes and also face. Uh, it's now available for 65 pounds. Okay. Um, Spectrum Collections are releasing makeup. And what type of makeup is it, Haley? I just don't. I I'm I'm sorry, guys, but I have to quit. We're I out. hate I hate this. Like you're fired. I'm so fucking over it. Like just go right away. This is a zodiac collection. So you've got a nine pan zodiac palette with yellow, white, brown, blue, black, pink, red. Then we have highlighters, two shades. There is a cool peach with a pink metallic, which is called Moonlight. Then we've got Sunray, which is a gold base with a yellow gold hint. They're sort of... Um, so they look speckled. like they look like they're growing a fungus. I was about to say they yeah. look like they're growing mold. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. That's what it looks like. Yep. Your bread has been out for too long. Correct. It's growing pink and brown mold. Mm -hmm. um, then there is something called Cosmo Drops. This also comes in two shades. Orb is a cool high shine silver, and Dawn is a warm flecked copper. Yeah, these sort of look like uh, Smashbox do them. What are those yes, drops? Yes, uh, the shimmer drops. Yeah. yeah. So they're very, very liquidy. Yeah, and that's yeah. what these look like. Yeah. They'll probably be sparkly pigment in them. 
um, but they're very liquidy and you can use them on the face. Yeah. And then we have a dark matter mascara. Everything's fairly affordable, but it's all in pounds. So the eyeshadow palette's like 30 pounds. Highlighters, $12.99. Uh, Cosmic Drops and Dark Matter Mascara, also $12.99. Uh, launches on 13th of November. Yeah, I think one thing that's interesting about calling this a Zodiac collection is there's actually no there's Zodiac not a single inspiration. Thing. Not a this single thing. This is more thing. like um, space themed. There's yeah. Dark Matter, Meteor, Galaxy, Solstice, Red Moon, Celestial, Constellation. These, these aren't necessarily it's, Zodiac related. No. These are like space related or yeah. like... So I feel like they could have renamed it. I think they. I think what they've probably done is gone. Okay, Zodiac makeup is really so cool. popular. Everyone's buying the BH Cosmetics ones. They're not. No um, one is. No one is. <laughs> so I think they're sort of rolling with the trendy term. They must have put. You know what I reckon they've done? They've probably gone to the trending in Google and like put in words and like Zodiac trends. So let's use that. But um, the collection looks pretty okay if you if you want to try their yeah. makeup i do like that they're expanding out from just the like gaudy bags and the mm. brush collections yeah. um so i think this is not too bad i just think it's yeah it's not not that exciting all right is this the last thing no second last thing so urban decay we've seen the party <laughs> favor moon dust palette now this is interesting and i've got a story about this so this is another holiday edition they've already released their holiday crap which mm -hmm. was honey themed cherry themed yeah, heat themed so weird their ho holiday collection wins the weirdest holiday co yeah they're just taking award. some permanent products that they've got in their range and just like let's expand it for the holidays yeah no anyway so this is a little bit different which is good it actually looks kind of disco like there's a yeah. lot of what was it nyx did a disco one yeah um yeah there's a few sort of disco inspired things this is their moon dust eyeshadow formula but um they've got six new shades in a little palette it's got six shades in it mm. so they had a moon dust eyeshadow palette a few years ago um this had eight shades and most of them were colorful and blue yeah so there was a lot of blue and greens in there now i actually bought that because i like the moon dust pressed formula. glitter formula yeah. and i remember doing a review on it this was probably like three years ago and saying I like the formula, but I wish it had more like wearable, wearable shades yeah. because I'm not going to wear silver every day. I'm not going to wear blue every day. I'm not going to wear green every day. Mm. They finally fucking listened, but it's too late because now pressed glitters are everywhere and I don't give a flying fuck. No. But three years ago, I would have been like, this is this fantastic. Is Thank you for listening. But they literally said that they um, had a lot of requests for to bring out a more nude version of this type of palette or this type of formula and... They listened, and I reckon I'm like, yeah, you listened too late. You missed but the boat, missed the boat. like at least a year. Yeah, but I, I'd still like this. I think if you want to try wearable everyday sort of glitter, these need a glitter glue to to make them work agree, really well. Yeah. We did a video testing glitter glues. This would this would look gorgeous with a glitter glue, um, but I just feel like um, little too little too late mm. for this. Uh, but it's coming soon. Twenty nine US dollars. I love how they're like, thanks to the built-in mirror, it's ready to follow you around to any holiday party and beyond. Why would you take this to a holiday guys, party? Guys, 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 No. We can't help you. No. I can, all I can do is sass you. Yeah. Because. No. I can't. Unless they're implying that the glitter has a lot of, like, it doesn't wear well. Unless you have a glitter glue. So you need Why to bring this with you to touch up. Why do you take it to, to a party? <laughs> yeah. But they've got mm. some nice colours. I do like that they have like an iridescent white. They have like mm. a light champagne pink, a light gold, a very cool toned, almost olivey brown. Yeah, taupe. Taupe. And then you also have like, like a, a copper. copper. I think brown. these colours would be very, I very pretty. I think it's really pretty as well. According to the availability details, this is already available in Poland and Switzerland. Mm. Um, and it's coming to the UK on the 14th. Uh, it's coming to the Urban Decay website on the 19th of November, as well as Spain, Italy, France, Belgium, Netherlands. And, and then it's just rolling out yeah. throughout November and um, December. So yeah, we're getting it in the on the 3rd of, of December, December. Yeah. yeah, in Australia. All right, so we have something here from Zoeva. This is a little six-pan palette for the holidays, and it's called Precious. 
So it's launching 4th of November at Sephora Europe and 12th of November at Zoeva Cosmetics. Wow, no, not they're really sure. kissing us with Sephora, aren't they? They are. Not sure on the price yet, but it's a six-pan palette. There are two mattes. There's a purple and sort of a, a grey Greyish mauve. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, I like it. I like um, it too. Then we have four shimmers. There's a purple, a pink, a gold, and again, sort of like a greyishy mauve. Yeah, I actually quite like this. I really like this. Um, I sort of want the middle two to go and have a, a quad, like a purple, Fair. Pu purple yes. and grey quad. I think yep. that'd be really pretty, like half matte, half shim shimmer. Yeah. This is going to be the start of their holiday collection. It though. will. It they will. They bring out packs. They bring out, um, you know, other products. Mm. So I think this is just the first sort of hint Actually, at it. I think I saw they're doing a big vault with like slide out drawers. Yeah, yeah. they usually do sort yeah. of things like that. They usually do collections with, they always um, bring back the cocoa blend yes. palette and yep. the caramel melange and then Correct. they chuck in another big one yep. and then there's lip products in it. So they do do a lot of packs. I'm surprised we're hearing about it so late, mm. um, but there'll be more coming from them for sure. Definitely. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP, and this week's VIP is... Alexander. Yeah! Thank you, Alexander. Alexander, thank you so much for supporting beauty news, and thank you to everyone who supports beauty news in whichever way you choose to do it. Yes, emoji time. Tell us. Horse. Okay, good. I thought you were going to say something Zodiac related. I was no, thinking and I'm like, I fuck fucking, that shit. Nope, right the fuck out. This year, I am so sick of hearing about Zodiac it's related makeup shit. It's been a couple of years shit. that we've, we've yeah. been, like last, like last year was Last year it was starting. Yeah, we had Bite, Bite and, and then the big ones from BH. Yeah, and, then, and Kathleen Lights yeah. with the Colourpop stuff. And, and then, then they dragged it through this year as well. And I'm just like, let it. Go. So if you made it to the end, leave a horse emoji. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm channeling Paul and Joe. Yes. Love it. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.